Hello, everybody. I would like to show you what is in this Osprey Rook 65. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it up here, lay it all out, and show you what's in there. Show, show you how I do and what my philosophy is for the bag. All right. So here is the pack emptied out. So we're going to... Start at the left top corner, and uh, this is my uh, sleeping bag and a compression sack. It's uh, it's pretty light. It could be lighter. It's a, a synthetic down, I believe, rated to zero degrees or thirty degrees, zero degrees Celsius. See, it just fits in the bottom right there in the. Uh, sleeping bag compartment in the sack so sleeping bag we've got our tent it's a alps lynx one person tent very <laughs> it's a very cool tent very small it's like a little coffin but it's well ventilated it's also warm you know it's a three plus season tent also pretty light i think it's about uh, 3.4 pound tent. All right. <clears throat> Going along next, I've got my uh, Climate Static V. It's my sleeping pad. It's inflatable in about, uh, I'd say, 10 to 15 breaths. Uh, it's, um... It's meant for warm weather. This is not the insulated pad, but it's very light. You can see how small it is. Really nice for summer, spring, maybe even fall camping, winter, if you're brave. I don't, I don't know. We've got our outdoor vitals. This is my pillow, man. This is an inflatable pillow, and it is actually soft. It's nice. Look how small that is. By outdoor vitals, it's inflatable and, like, three breaths really small but it's a soft stretchy material pillow i've got this is my tarp made just for the uh alps links one person tent it fits it um just under the size of the tent so no rain gets into your tarp and into your floor so and it, it does work i had it set up for a week as you can see in the last video, and uh, it stayed dry the whole week during the winter. Next, I've got my little fishing kit here. <clears throat> I have some power bait, a little bit of trilene, eight pound liter. What's this? I've got, uh, it is, let's open this up. So I've got a, oh, it's a steelhead jig. This is a buzz bomb, a float, uh, some power bait, some trilene, eight pound, a liter, and a bunch of little tackle in here. So let me show you. All right, so we have some, oh, couple of squid skirts we've got some salmon stuff some just some weights we have some hooks and some uh, shrimp maybe for possibly surf fishing uh, we have some trout stuff in here uh, some bigger hooks in here and some tubing for uh, salmon rigs with these uh, long weights right here the long lead weights uh, little lure that i made myself there's some beads in here and some some corkies in there so you could make all kinds of rigs out of what's here you could go sinking you could go floating with the float It'd be awesome so that's a nice little <clears throat> that's my little uh travel fishing setup and here is my, uh, this is a Bass Pro Shops Venturi uh, Telescopic 
bait casting pole with a Johnny Morris signature bait casting reel, uh, left hand retrieve. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next. All right. <clears throat> next, we have our, uh, let's see, one extra pair of sock, one extra pair of boxers. You know what I'm forgetting right here is a roll of god dang toilet paper and a toothbrush. Uh, but <laughs> let it be said that I noticed it right now. Alright, I have my... This is my blue... So this is my camping stove, actually. It's a blue stove by Blue. That's the company. Uh, runs on, this is what I'm using for gas. This is my second can, actually. Uh, the first one is actually sitting right in here. Let's see. So there's a can of gas. There is the uh, adapter for uh, pots and pans. And here's the actual uh, igniter in the stove right here. Really, really nice. You've seen that in a video also. It, it works. <clears throat> and that company, Blue, uh, sent me a free... Check this out. They said it was going to be a free utensil kit, but it's actually a little free uh, multi-tool. So there's a fork on this end. Right? There's a spoon on this end. And that's really all I wanted was a fork and spoon. Uh, there's a little, this is like a little salt shaker container. Oh, no, it's not. It's a light. Okay, salt shaker. And there's some blades on there. There's a corkscrew, you know. A basic little, uh, oh, there's a compass on there, too. And it works. Woo! Uh, they sent me this for free for posting a review on their uh, Amazon page. So if you want a free spoon and fork and a little knife set, there you go, man. A little free multi-tool there. So, all right, moving along. We're just going to pile this up and I'm going to repack it in here, make it more compact. So now I have... My two books that I'm going to carry with me. <clears throat> All That the Rain Promises and More. A hip pocket guide to Western mushrooms. So it's a mushroom identification and foraging book. This is like the most classic mushroom and foraging book ever. If you're trying to eat mushrooms out in the wild, that's a must-have book for the area. And also a foraging guide for just uh, other plants in the area. You know, if I'm trying to not just eat what I bring, that's what I have here. And I also have a Coleman uh, pot and pan kit. It has a pot, a pan, and uh, well, let's open it up. Swings open like that. So this is your plate. This is an eating plate. This is a cup. This is a pot. And it's got a little top on that. Oh, and the handles, you know. The handles fall off. It's a little cheap little set, but pretty awesome. And this is your uh, frying pan right here with a handle. Pretty sweet, right? Okay. It's a Coleman set, and it that goes down pretty small. All right. Next up, we have a three-liter water bladder, and this is where a lot of the weight of the pack comes from. So I think I'm going to carry it really at about one and a half liters. It's pretty good for me. Uh, the line is installed into the backpack, so you just hook the line up right there and. Start sucking. 
<laughs> All right, next I have my uh, my camping shovel. It's a it's just a military issue camping shovel and pick right there. Pretty useful tool. All right, moving on. I've got a fillet knife. I've got my everyday carry pocket knife right here. I've got a flashlight. I'm always carrying a lighter. I carry my small fishing multi-tool, which has a, a pair of pliers, scissors, etc. I've got Carmex. I've got, let's see, a headlamp. I've got water filtration tablets. I've got a Kamenka U.S. military lensatic compass with tritium in it. Ooh, because it glows in the dark. Nice, right? Okay. I've got a pair of Noptics. Optics. I've got a. You gotta have a pair of binoculars, right? Nice pair of binoculars for hunting, spotting. And I carry two of these uh, freeze dried meals with me for my camping stove. And when I run out of that, it's foraging time. Or just ration these very uh, sparingly. So I bought pepper beef with rice this time. And Kung Pao Grilled Chicken. I, uh, I'm i going to do a video review on these two items here in my, uh, my next video. And so we were going to stop piling our stuff. And this is my first aid kit. This is the survival part of my survival bag. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in here next. Empty this out, because there's a lot in here. All right, and here is what is inside my first aid section of my pack here. Uh, this contained all of this here. This is a little secondary first aid kit, all of this right here. So let's see, we have... Uh, Bacitracin ointment. We have white petroleum skin protectant. We have three eye pads, you know, for your three eyes. We have skin closure strips. We have gauze. We have <clears throat> two kinds of suture packs. We have uh, tubing for a tourniquet. We have an exacto and refills. We have a trash bag, snake bite kit, a lip balm, and some other uh, random things here. Regular adhesive bandages, uh, some more gauze, and in this we have a little bit of uh, gauze again. Scissors, q-tips, safety pins, and just some... Uh, What's in here? It looks like some random stuff. A pair of uh, gloves over here. And probably just uh, looks like uh, some Tylenol and pain relief stuff. For uh, it looks like a bug bite thing in there. So we covered in there. We've got three bags of hand warmers. <clears throat> We've got a major trauma pack here. Uh, gauze sponges, large gauze sponges, large roll of gauze. Oh, you, now you know where this came from. <laughs> okay, it did come from a hospital. Uh, large trauma pack for a lot of bleeding. We've got a pen and a pad of paper. We've got our camp matches. We've got our emergency space blanket here. We've got fire starter for use with our knife. Uh, and we've got a bunch of dried up <clears throat> lint for fire starter. A sharpie. And uh, that is the bag, ladies and gentlemen, minus uh, toilet paper and a toothbrush. All right, thank you.